Well, all right. It is Wednesday, May 8th, about 11.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as you can see, it's not pretty today. <laughs> it's not pretty. And uh, would you believe that all of this red and all of these blown accounts are because of one single tick? One single tick did it to me today. I can't believe it. I'm still kind of in shock. I spent the whole day thinking that I actually had a phantom fill on the opening trade. And um, it looked like after the fact, it looked like my fill was um, one tick below the low of the candle, below the wick, like not even touching it. And so I actually thought that my order was one tick lower than, um, than, than the candle. And I thought I shouldn't have been in the trade at all. I actually spent the whole morning thinking that that's what happened. Turns out it was slippage. I went back and checked the live recording because um, I record the trade every day. And uh, my order actually was the very last tick of that bar there. So when we go to uh, take a look at this trade, I'll show it to you. And uh, you'll see there was a, slip, uh, a tick of slippage on the entry there. Um, really disappointing. It You know, one tick wider and I would have had a winning trade. That's all it would have taken. One single tick wider. But I'll show you why I put it where I put it because I actually measured... Um, measured where I wanted it to be for a very specific reason. And um, if I just went one tick wider, uh, it would have saved me. And and in my experience with the uh, the opening New York, the New York opening trade, the outboard, as I'm calling it, um, in my experience, it's really the, the, the way I have lost every time is literally by being too tight on one side or the other by a single tick, pretty much. One single tick did all this damage. So, um, so as you can see, uh, um, we'll start with the PAs, uh, PA7, I lost 1,327, uh, or 1,328 really on the, um, on the PA account. That's a 25 K account on PA8, a 50 K I lost uh, 2321. And, uh, but as you can see up here, um, PA7 lost on the opening trade. I lost $174 and 10 cents. You know, this looks really horrible when you think about it like this. I lost $1,328, but the reality is I lost $174 of my real money today um, on that trade, on that trade, on that account. Um, I paid uh, for one month for the evaluation and the lifetime fee. So combined, that's how much I spent uh, to acquire this PA account. Um, I always say that on average, I spend about $200 per PA account to acquire them. This one cost me a little bit under. Uh, PA8, as you can see, um, I lost $290.30 of my actual real money that I spent on these, this account. And that's because I um, spent for multiple months on the evaluation at 80% discount plus the lifetime fee. So um, in reality, um, on my PAs today, you know, I lost, uh, what is it, 390 uh, about $460 between those two accounts of my real money, um, my investment on fees on Apex. And then another uh, $66, $67 combined um, between the two evaluations because they were both $33.40 uh, for the 80% discount. Um, so that, that's real money lost today, and that's why I'm showing it that way. Um, I lost you know close to $600 in total uh, today, just a little bit under. So um, that's that's the reality. Uh, doesn't feel great, but, um, yeah, just bottom ticked, bottom ticked on that op orb opening trade and, uh, ruined a, a perfectly good day. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, I, I went on to win three trades, um, the rest of the day, you can see here, PA nine, I took three trades on it. It was up $178 and, um, you know, so if this, if I just was one tick lower, uh, I would have been four and oh today, I would have had all these accounts in the green. Um, working towards payouts and towards passing and it would have been a terrific day. So uh, let's get into the trade and I'll show you this entry and um, yeah, we'll get into it. So here we go. This is the um, the whole session on the one minute chart. You can see this is where the, the session opened yesterday and we had a huge sell off in the overnight. And um, let's see here. Let's make this bigger. And really all day today, I thought that I um, got triggered into this trade on like a phantom trade. That's what I was calling it all day today. Uh, let me turn on the marks here one second here. 
Here we go. So uh, you can see we made a new low of the session over here. Um, I marked out what was the range um, for quite a long time. And uh, there's a tighter range that I was considering working off of, um, but um, this one didn't really matter. You can remove that. And so uh, ultimately, I just wanted to be wide above here and um, wide um, below here is how I was looking at it. And the, the one thing that I was a little bit concerned about if I got triggered to the short side is I wanted to make sure I had enough rim to the low here. Um, I figured if we got triggered, if it, if it triggered me this wide, I figured it would be enough to get, get a new low and then potentially bounce from there. I was thinking it would work on both sides today, uh, ironic enough. And um, the, the reason I was really kind of shocked today was um, after I was in the trade, I noticed that the, the tick was below the bar. So if I go really close here, you can see that um, the, the entry was below the bar. The, uh, the bar, the low was uh, 18.078 and 50 cents. And, um, you know, I turn on the marker, it says my entry was 25 cents. So as a tick below, um, where I got triggered into the trade, um, I thought that meant actually all day today, cause I didn't go back and watch the live recording until just before recording this video, I actually recorded a whole review video saying that this was a phantom fill and that my order was one tick below. Um, but then I went and watched the, the video. I was like, let me confirm this. I, I never watched the video today. And because I record the opening trade every time I take it. And uh, no, my order was actually um, the very bottom of the of the bar, right? of, the, of the wick. It, my order was at 18.078 and 50 cents. So I literally did get bottom ticked. It even gave me a, a worse fill, one tick of slippage, which I don't know how that really happens when the bar doesn't um, touch that. But that's, that's what happened. But it made me feel better to at least realize no, actually, that is where my order was. I got bottom ticked. Um, interestingly enough, I saw Velocity uh, took a bottom tick loss today on this trade as well. We had our orders in exactly the same place, and I wasn't watching him live. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Um, I was not watching him live at all. And when I went and checked his, I was like, oh, I was actually one tick below his, and I still got filled. And that's how I was operating the whole day, thinking I was one tick below where he got filled on the bottom tick. And I thought I was like below bottom tick, uh, ticked out, you know? Um, so anyway, um, in a way, it makes me feel better. It, the order was where I thought it was. And the reason I put my order there, I'd actually measured um, from where my order was going to be down to, well, let me make this wider so I could see it. Um, so from where my order was down to the low of day was uh, six and a quarter points. And so I, that gave me um, just enough room, a little bit extra to get my 22 ticks. And I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to that on the uh, short side. So uh, just one of those things I know when I take this trade, um, this is what can happen. Um, you know, it, sometimes it's as, as a small margin of victory or defeat as a single tick. And that's what happened to me. A single tick went against me. Um, I tried to add a contract here to have a chance to work out of it. And I uh, wasn't able to uh, get my scalp. It, was, it just needed to go a little bit lower, actually, and I would have got it. But um, just didn't work out. Didn't matter anyways. I would have been blown up no matter what I did today. So uh, just the way it goes, 15 and 2 now, um, you know, it's like now I realize I actually maybe had two or three more extra ticks um, when I just measured it that I could have been another tick or two lower. But however I measured it this morning, it was like exactly good enough for like 23 or 24 ticks. And so I'm going for 22. So I wanted to make sure I had at least 23. And when I measured it, um, I think that's what I looked for. It was for 24 ticks. So maybe I could have been actually one tick lower. Um, anyway, got the loss, blew up those accounts. Uh, I knew it was possible to happen. I wasn't expecting a second loss so soon. 15 and two now on the opening trade. Um, based on my uh, back testing, I really expected to go a longer amount of time before hitting that second loss, but it's just the way it is. And you know, you can see it's, it's just that close of a call. Um, two ticks to, you know, um, a, a difference of one tick could have kept, kept me out of the trade. So that's the way it goes. Let me show you the other trades here. 
All right, so then um, after getting that loss, um, I switched over to PA9. Um, I really wanted to take a trade right here. I actually tried to enter on the one minute chart um, and I missed it. And it set up exactly what I was looking for and I, I put in a uh, limit order and it, it, it went above and it never came back. I kind of wish I used a stop order, but I didn't this time and, and missed the trade. Um, I only had, uh, for, for those of you that follow me, you know that on my usual scalping strategy, I'm usually looking for charts on tick charts where every second entry works for my profit target, and those are the charts I trade. Um, well, I can only find one chart that was good um, that I could trade off of, which turned out to be this chart. And um, so because of that, I was um, still watching the one minute, and that's why I wanted to take this trade here. Um, again, second entry, first entry, second entry. And um, I liked the support off the previous day close, and I wanted to take the long going for the new high of day, which was uh, the, the green. And, you know, uh, if I got in late, there was plenty of room. It would have worked. I have a hard time, you know, getting in, chasing late. So I stayed out of that trade. Um, and then I had a little bit of FOMO, quite honestly, here. So let me took, turn on the mark here. So oh, one second here. So honestly, a little bit of FOMO here. Um, I had this measured move that I was looking for. It, the setup happened before uh, the measured move. I really thought it was a bad trade when I took it. it is, I only took it because it was kind of impulsive after missing the long. And, um, you know, I didn't really like this trade. But it was, for those of you that follow me, it, it, it did fit my rules for my regular BS uh, scalping strategy. And uh, it was a new low here, first entry, second entry on a chart that had no losses um, on second entries. And, um, uh, you know, right away I felt like it was a FOMO trade. I shouldn't have taken it, but it ended up working. I got nine ticks on it. Um, I got a little bit of slippage on the entry, uh, which was not with the sim leader, uh, and copy training to the apex account, uh, just directly on apex. Um, so not a great fill for me on the entry and I should have got, I think, uh, I think it was 12 or 13 ticks is what I should have got on that trade, but it is what it is. I also lowered my contract since I was still trading a PA account. Um, I wanted to lower the risk of blowing up the account on any single trade. So I started trading with one contract. And um, so, you know, the first trade nine ticks wasn't very much, you know, it's like 40 bucks or whatever before uh, commissions. And so then I um, pretty much... Um, ended up trading the one minute chart for the most part for the rest of the day. Um, even though I ended up having three charts that were, were good for my BS strategy. Um, so this is what I ended up doing. Uh, you can see my trade was up here and, um, that was my first trade on the account, um, on PA nine. And then I took another trade here. Let's see if I can, this is a decent size. So as you can see um, here, I, I kind of found like a larger range um, is what it looked like to me and then the tighter range inside of it. So this was also a second entry to the short side, um, uh, just playing it to uh, the bottom of these candles here, which is where I saw the tight support and uh, ended up getting a good fill this time. Uh, and this time I switched to having a sim leader account, um, copy trading to the, the PA account. And it actually filled me on the PA account and didn't fill me on the sim leader. So um, I got out on the PA account and the sim leader was still in the trade. So I just exited out of that for a loss on the sim. And, uh, but this one, I got 13 ticks. So that was, that was nice. And again, one contract on PA nine. And then here as well, um, basically looked at it as a uh, new high here, first entry long, second entry long. And this was like a higher low kind of situation, staying in the range, um, got filled. It went against me at first, uh, then ended up working out. And I just made sure to get out before what could have been resistance um, right here at the bottom of the yellow range, tight range. And uh, so that worked out for 16 ticks. And, um, and so I ended up, you know, on PA uh, nine with a $178 uh, profit today. So having said all that, let's get this stuff back on the screen. All right, so here we go. This is the live market. I mean, it looks like it's still bouncing off that range here. Um, so, you know, I feel like I did a good job today uh, scalping overall. Um, I, didn't, I didn't particularly love my first trade, but it did fit within my system. And, um, you know, 
I, I didn't like it in real time. It kind of felt like a little bit of a FOMO trade, uh, but um, you know, that happens sometimes, but I, I really like these two trades I did on my, uh, on the one minute chart outside of my regular system. And um, yeah, just, you know, the difference, the difference of one tick today would be these five accounts all in the green. And, uh, and actually it would have been two other accounts green as well, because I wouldn't have taken um, all three trades on the single account today if, uh, if the opening trade was a winner. So, uh, you know, just how this trading game goes, right? It's like this, the slimmest of margins can change everything. And in today's case, it was one single tick. Um, was the difference of me blowing up four accounts or, or, you know, having potentially five, six, seven accounts in the green today and looking great. So, um, it's disappointing, but I'm just going to, uh, accept it and move on. I know that when I take the opening trade, I'm this is the risk. This is the risk I'm putting on that this could happen. These days can happen, but I'm seeing with my win rate between the apex accounts and all the back testing I've done. I mean, I've, I've traded this, this, uh, trade for what, like over 170 days worth of trades, I believe. Um, so the, the numbers are there to support it. And really it's still a over 95% win rate, um, between all of those days that I've tested it and traded it on Apex as well. So um, I'll be back tomorrow trading it again, and I'm just going to make sure to be, you know, wide enough. It seems like the only times that I've lost on this trade between playback and live on Apex is just being just that slightly too tight. And a lot of times it's by a single tick, that, that single tick too tight. And uh, there, it's just hard to avoid that, you know. Um, so it's just the way it is. Uh, overall though, I'm still feeling good about things. Uh, it's just disappointing today. So 15 and two, uh, on the outboard opening New York opening trade three and one, uh, today, uh, 75% was three and oh with my scalping five and one for the week, 83% and overall for the year, 212 wins, 49 losses, 81%. So, um, just gonna, you know, not let this ruin the rest of my day and, uh, come back and, and do it again tomorrow. And hopefully I, I won't be bottom or top ticked, uh, again, and I'll, I'll avoid these kinds of losses in the future. And, uh, you know, Alpine got a win today, so he clearly was a little bit wider on the bottom and, uh, you know, all it would have taken apparently is to be one tick wider. Although I do wonder, you saw how, how my fill was slipped by one tick. So if I was one tick wider, I should have avoided it, but I don't know. I imagine I, I would have, I spent the whole day thinking it was a phantom entry because <laughs> of where the uh, marker was. So I really spent the whole morning thinking like, oh, I shouldn't have even been entered in that trade and it was a bad fill. So at least, at least it was a legitimate fill. That's where my order was and I, I can accept that. So, um, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, the 80% discount still going on to the end of the month. I'll probably have to take advantage myself. I can't use my own code, but I appreciate anyone that does. Uh, there's been a few of you out there, so I appreciate that. And uh, one day pass, half press resets, goes on till the end of the month, May 31st. And uh, I will be streaming again live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. And I uh, hope you'll join me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes and subscribes I've been getting lately. And uh, hopefully better luck tomorrow. All right, I'm out of here.